Hey church family, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, I'm going to come to you today out of Isaiah 40, hopefully give you a word of encouragement. Because nobody likes to wait. I'm not very good at it. Uh, it's not one of my special gifts. But the word says that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. Who will walk and not faint. A little earlier in that passage, Isaiah says that the, the children of Israel uh, were feeling like they were hidden from God, like God um, had not heard their prayers. He says, Why, O Jacob, do you say and declare, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and the justice due me escapes the notice of my God? Have you ever felt that way? Like uh, you've been praying for something for a really long time or waiting for a breakthrough, um, coming to the end um, of a season in your life, uh, but you feel like God has maybe forgotten you. You're not the only one that's felt that way. But here's what Isaiah says. Do you not know, have you not heard, the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, he does not become tired or grow weary. There is no searching of his understanding. You see, the good thing about God is he is not flesh like we are. So he doesn't get tired. He doesn't grow weary of waiting and impatient. Um, and his understanding, is his, uh, his ways and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Um, and so we may not understand his purpose, but there is always a purpose and there is always a plan and a timing for every good thing. The word says he gives strength to the weary and to him who has no might, he increases power. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who wait upon the Lord, they will gain new strength and renew their power. They will lift up their wings like eagles. They will run and not become weary. They will walk and not become tired. So I'm praying for you right now as you wait on this uh, promise from the Lord, as you continue to pray and worship in the waiting that your strength would be renewed and that your power would be renewed. You know, the Bible also says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. So I'm praying that God will renew your joy in this situation. And so uh, that you will continue to wait on the goodness of God to come because it is coming. David also said in Psalms, um, I would have despaired if I had not, if I had not believed that I would see the goodness of God in the land of the living. He says to wait for and to confidently expect the Lord. To be strong and let your heart take courage. Yes, wait for and constantly expect the Lord. I pray right now in the name of Jesus for this time of fasting and prayers of this next 21 days that the Lord will renew our strength. That he will stir up our worship in the moments of waiting. That he would renew a passion for his presence and a zeal for the, the word of God, the truth of his word. Have a great day and be blessed.